Okay, today we're looking at Dollar Canada. Um, you can see here this 50% retracement at 135.753 is strong resistance to this uptrend for Dollar Canada. We've failed at this level a couple of times. I think the next time it uh, gets up here, it may not um, it may not fall back. It might break out and move to 138.540. So um, we are looking for a longer term downtrend in the Canadian dollar with a move to 162 area uh, way up here. Um, it probably will get there in the next couple of years. Um, again, you have a former high for Dollar Canada at 135.885. So you take out this area of resistance, you will see a big move. And timing wise, you have March 21st was a timeline. And as you saw on that prior chart, uh, the spring equinox was also um, a time to look for change. Uh, the Canadian dollar has started to sell off a little bit, but it hasn't got above key res that key level at 135 area. So that's what we're waiting for. Um, you know, we also have uh, resistance from Jupiter at 136.879. So if you want to be absolutely safe, wait for a close above 135, 136 area before you get uh, short the Canadian dollar. Right now we're trading kind of in a range here from say about 132 area for Jupiter offering support down here and Mars at 133 area. Uh, that is the support area and resistance at 135, 136 area. So it's not very uh, exciting because, you know, this thing has been trapped in a range for a while, but that's what's going on. I think if you uh, analyze it, you would realize that um, if you if you think about what it takes to make a big move in, in the dollar Canada, uh, since this is a risk on risk off sort of currency, we're looking at um, the next big event being the U.S. stock market sell-off, which will probably take stocks down globally, and 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 it would be a risk-off event for the Canadian dollar. So when that happens, you'll see the Canadian dollar Canada move to 140, 150, maybe even 160 area. It'll be a big move uh, as the U.S. stock market sells off. But until that happens, you still have the potential for um, dollar Canada to remain in this range from say 132 to 136 area.